That's right, a mother has dedicated the last year of her life to a passion project to honor her grandmother's soul food recipes. After her truck was stolen in June, she has been left without answers and without an important source of income for her children. So it was actually right here, parked here. Brooklyn Ornelas was met with back-to-back -back thefts in June. On June 8th, her father-in-law's truck was hot-wired in the middle of the night. The next day, her food trailer was stolen too. A direct line of earning a living to support her children, stolen in the middle of the night. It was like my baby, it was something I did for my grandmother who taught me how to cook and she taught me that soul food is like love, like so it meant something like to feed the people and to just make my neighborhood have a connection and then it was just cooking for me. Her father-in-law's truck was later found and then impounded. It was stripped of parts and he was met with fees to have the vehicle released. As for Brooklyn's bright blue food trailer, it's nowhere to be found. It's pretty big, pretty bright, so we drove around looking for it. I called the police, made a police statement, asked a couple neighbors, looked at cameras, and there was no luck. So I just put my faith in the police hands and haven't got anything. She's now dealing with debt collectors demanding payments on something she cannot use and was intended as a source of income to support her family. The police investigation of the theft closed due to lack of leads. Brooklyn sells Sunday dinner plates to offset the costs of what it took to put the truck together and save for a down payment to acquire another one. So like now with the Sunday dinners, I'm getting like help and it's bringing our neighborhood together. A lot of neighbors meet each other when they come and it makes me happy because I'm doing something positive even though something negative happened to me. Days after the event, her family bought cameras to prevent further crimes. But then those cameras were stolen too. It begs the question, do these devices even help? Sometimes we do get footage from people where you can't tell at all who it is. You can tell maybe it's a human being if we're lucky sometimes. And, and those don't provide a lot of use in a case. Uh, sometimes maybe you can get something identifiable, even like if you can identify a pair of shoes or a, if there is a specific uh, clothing item that's unique. Like even that can help us out. Even then, footage is never a guarantee that you'll find the perpetrator or get your things back. Being within the Oleander neighborhood, Brooklyn is at a loss for what to do now. Because I thought that I was in a safe neighborhood and that if I did something happen that the police would help me and they just closed the case. And I'm still stuck with the debt, the sadness, like my children are terrified. They think the bad guys are going to come back and steal more stuff. With the rise of car thefts and break-ins, Brooklyn's message is simple. Look out for your neighbor. And we have to stick together as neighbors and just depend on us because right now that's all I have is my neighbors. Now BPD wants to emphasize that cameras can be a deterrent, but be sure to get high quality video cameras to ensure the best chance of getting identifiable features. For more information on Helen Soul Food and their dinner plates, you can visit their website at www.helensoulfood.com. In studio, Aaliyah Fitzgerald, 17 News.